Well, just just to kind of point things out, you did not actually shoot him. Right. You shot one of his friends. Right. And that and that, the the guy that you shot. Yeah. Have you ever talked to him? I have never talked to him. Okay. I have never talked to him. Um, Would you? I don't know. It's a tough but one. right now is no. Right now is no. Right now is no. But it doesn't mean that won't change. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I'm not ready for that. Okay. Because it's a different circumstance. It is. You know what I'm saying? Me and him is a different circumstance. Like, he told on me. And okay, so he actually took. Well, well, I mean, well, once again, you pleaded out, so technically. But he took the stand though. How, how do you take the stand with no trial? For the, he asked to give me more time. Oh. So so once I took once I once I once I um once I took the plea, he went up there and asked to get to, for me to get more. But that's not the reason why I went. You know what I'm saying? The reason. It, why, did you get more time because of what he said? No. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't. I don't think so. The judge actually gave me a really good play. You know what I mean? And, and just to, just to ask, how badly how badly was he hurt in that shooting? He was paralyzed for a little bit. I, I don't think he's not no more. But he was in a wheelchair for like maybe two three years, something like that. And he kind of, kind of exercised. Pretty pretty serious. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty serious. serious to be in a wheelchair for two or three years, wondering every day whether you're going to be in that wheelchair for the rest of your life. Right. Right. I, I can imagine the level of hatred I would have for you right. if you did that to me. Right. Um, so and I would want to hurt you in any way that I could. Right. And so since like, I can't with, go and shoot you, with that type of shit, I might. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. With that type of shit, it's different. You know what I'm saying? That's like that's different. When there's blood being shed between somebody, I don't know if I could trust. Ain't like you know what I'm saying? I don't know if I could trust this situation whether if I'm ready for it but I don't know if you're like you know what I'm saying like I don't know what the fuck is going on right. and at the same time it's like you know he also told on me but it was it's different from him because he was in, he was in a gang like he he was he was he's a gangster you know what I'm saying so you did all that that you know what I mean I don't feel like you know that at, right now but at the same time it's like you never know you know what I'm saying you never I don't know, know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I actually, I don't feel the same way that I feel about him I did 10 years ago or even five years ago or even three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like right now, like, because I, I did I did apologize to him on camera. You know what I'm saying? About me, his family, about me putting, making that decision. And and and, and, and um, when I did the interview with, with Jen, I did apologize to him. You know what I'm saying? And his family and all that, because it was a decision that I made that you know really that really fucked up a whole bunch of shit. But at the same time, I don't know if I'm ready to sit down with him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it's an interesting thing because you know Trey D's a regular guest on my show, right. and uh, there was a situation where he got shot uh, by a rival gangster. Uh, his lungs collapsed. He luckily made it to an ambulance. You know, an ambulance picked him up in time, saved him. And I said, the guy that shot you sat down next to you and apologized. What would you do? He said, I'll shake his hand. Let's just say, no, no truth in this whatsoever. Let me just preface it with that. Okay, okay. So I don't get people on edge. I open the door and I bring in this guy and I sit him down next to you. And I'm like, this is the guy who shot you. Mm-hmm. And he looks at you and said, I'm sorry, man. I was tripping back then. I was gang banging. I was angry at the world. I had that happen. I'm, I'm older now. I got kids. I'm, I know who you are. I'm a fan of your music. My bad. What would you do? That's right, homie. What's your name? All right, for sure. For sure. I appreciate that, homie. Apology wasn't even necessary. We was living that life at the time. You know, ain't no thing, man. For sure. If that give you some kind of closure or whatever, that's cool. Solid. Wow. And you really mean that? No, oh, most definitely. That's right. gangster. You know, but then Yellow Beezy, who recently got shot, I asked him the same question, and he flipped the fuck out. He said, I don't give a fuck. That's just me. To, to each his own him, but buddy, what, how he live his life, but me, I don't, I don't let shit make it like that. I ain't, I ain't. Now, nigga, you not finna come and try to say, I'm the nigga that shot you and think you finna walk away. I'm gonna get my lick back. I don't give a fuck. Ain't no walking away. 
Shit, we two different niggas. I ain't fuck that. Nah, I ain't no shaking my hand. It's that's too far, too far gone. Once guns get involved, see if you would have shot at me, I can get past that because you ain't hit me. If I shot at you, I, I can get past. Like when it's gun, like when niggas actually getting hit from this shit, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no, none of that. You can stay where you at, like make sure we don't cross paths. It, it is what it is. But as far as me seeing or me me knowing a nigga, nah, ain't nothing like that going on. You know, he and just that, got shot though, and that, and that's gangster too. Like, so look, look, so you see what I'm saying. So listen, but there's difference though. Trey D is is a is a he's older. He's you know older. what I'm saying? So you 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 respond to things different. I bet you Trey D wouldn't have said that, <laughs> right? At that time, you know what I'm saying? When he's Yellow Beezy's age, like you know what I mean? I, I don't know how old they are, but I'm pretty no, sure there's a big. He's young. He's in yeah. early twenties. Uh, Trady is like 50. So this is what I'm saying. Of course. Twice as age. I'm pretty sure Yellow Beezy, when hopefully, you know what I'm saying, if when he gets to that age, that his answer might be a little different. Might be different. And I also interviewed Conway, yeah. who got shot in the face. Yeah. Who got shot, shot in the head. Conway. Shot out to Conway, yeah. Uh, and he's got uh, Bell's palsy, where half of his face is paralyzed. So he has to, you know, deal with that. And I said, well, if the dude that shot you, you know, same question. He said... Same situation happened. The dudes that shot you, they sat down here next to you. What would you do? I'd probably be on the same type of time. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have no, I ain't had no wreck. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no beast with nobody. Like I said, I wasn't living in the buff or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, right, it's whatever. I'm on, it ain't like we about to go have lunch, <laughs> you know what I mean? Go smoke a blunt in the parking lot together. But like, all right, it is what it is. I know, I know for a fact, like, on some real shit, and I said this around the time when I first started to recover and all that, like, like, niggas, because, nigga, the whole city loved me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the city loved me, because I don't had the city on my back for forever, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I know for a fact, I said this to myself, like, I know for a fact the niggas that that shot me, ain't even know I was in a truck. And if they knew that that was me, once they knew that, I, they probably sick to know that, damn, that was bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you think it was meant for someone else? <sighs> Something like that. Yeah, I think so. I, th I believe it was. Well, uh, congratulations for sitting down with Jen and also apologizing to the dude that, sh that you shot. Yeah. Um, and you, you never know. At the other day, he's no longer in a wheelchair. Yeah. Um, people get older. People feel some some type of way. But also, what I've realized in my own life is that you don't have to be cool with everyone. You don't. You really don't have to work it out with every single person that you no. come in contact with that you've had a bad situation with. There's a lot of people out there who hate me or I don't like or things have happened with us. We don't talk about each other. We live our life, we're all successful in our own way, and I do not feel a need to work it out with them. Right. If I never talk to them for the rest of my life, that's okay. I'm not out there doing things to try to make their life worse or even speaking about them. Right. You know, I'm not saying their names now. I am not. I don't say their names in, in private company. Right. It's a world filled with billions of people. You could just focus on the people that you have positive experiences with.